One of my long-time dreams has been to attend an NBA game live. And while in Atlanta, I have made it my mission to dive into every aspect of life here. So when the opportunity arose to attend the WNBA match, I couldn't contain my excitement. Today's experience is even more special. Not only will I get to enjoy the game, but there will also be live performances by the Divine Nine Sororities and Fraternities, adding a cultural flair to the event. I've always seen TikTok videos of these sororities and wished we had something similar at my university. Today, I finally get to witness them live in action. How amazing is that? Before we head to the game, we'll make a quick stop to pick up Leila, who you might remember from the previous episode from school. Along the way, we shall chat about schooling in America, giving you an insight into what it is like to go to school in America. Let's dive in. But before then, have you liked this video? Have you subscribed? Please like and subscribe and let's do this. All right, so today we're coming to pick Ashley's daughter from school. Ashley, hey. you said nobody can pick any others. Oh, yeah. You... yeah, no. What about if they are neighbors? No, you have to have the number. You have to, be, like, like they, you have to have the number. You have to know, like, if we have, we have to email, even if we got somebody that's, we know, that's coming to pick them up, yeah, or whatever, yeah. we still have to send them an email letting them know that someone is coming to pick your child up. Oh, so you have and to, they have, to have the number. Home. It's for safety. Oh, yeah. Okay. So they know her based on her number, but they know me because yeah. I'm, I'm a parent. Like, I actually just started breakfast. You brought them breakfast today? Mm -hmm. Oh, because so teachers sweet. need to be appreciated. Yeah. For... And children are not allowed to leave school on their own? No. No. Completely no? No. Even in high school? No. Now when they turn 18, they can sign themselves out, but it's laws against that. Oh. Only after uni only at universities when they are free, but while they are still in school? Right, right. Yep. Okay. All right. That's quite different. Because I remember when I was in grade one, we used to walk to school. No, nobody even now. Like we live, we live within walking distance of here. Yeah. But she cannot walk. They won't let you have to pick them up. And because now, if she has a school bus, yeah. she doesn't go to a regular school. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. she doesn't go to a regular school. But even then, uh -huh. if they have school bus, if they have a school bus, she can walk from the school bus. Uh -huh. But even at a certain age, you have to be. Like if you, if it's a kid that, so you know how you say grade one, grade one, you cannot walk by yourself. You have to have a parent that is at the school bus or a sibling or somebody that's there to pick you up oh. um, or whatever. But, um, but or whatever, like with her, yeah. the type of school she goes to, yeah. they don't have school buses. Parents pick their kids up because it's a choice. Okay. Everybody, so schools are based on where you live. Yeah. So... That school that she goes to, yeah. you have to want your kid to go to that school. So she's probably, she's the only one that lives around here yeah. that actually goes to that school. They oh. the kids, other kids in the area, is somebody else now? Mm -hmm. No, it's been somebody else. Oh, so it's one other person. Yes. Right, that lives in this area. Uh -huh. But like you but for other schools, if you go to a regular public school, yeah. you go to the school that's assigned for your area. Oh, so you don't just go to any... You don't just go to any school. It's got to be a school assigned to your area. And if not, then you have to, you know, request it or whatever else. But because she goes to what you would call like a, a school that's like a specialty, like a STEM school. Yeah. Then kids 
from other places can still come come to this school yeah all right so because like i said it's a choice and not everybody lives in the same area they don't have school buses oh, like okay. parents we make our own transportation for our kids uh -huh. to be picked up and dropped off all right I like how the teachers, I don't know if it's the teachers, the ones who are standing there and showing yes. every child goes to the yes. so to their that, parents' car. That's the one thing that I like about the school. It's small. Yeah. And you know every teacher. Like you saw how I got out and was talking. The lady that's coming to the game tonight, the teacher, she's yeah. the basketball coach. Yeah. But um she's not Layla's teacher, but because the type of school it is, you know because she teaches sixth grade. Uh -huh. But my daughter's in seven. But because of the type of school it is, yeah. every kid belong. I mean, uh, so the only well, how I met is I met her last year. Um, yeah, we were, last we were on the same hallway, but um, her um, her science class is right by my science class. Yeah. So they're all, she's all well, her class is always on the same side as us. That's oh. how she be out. So. Right. Do you love your school so much? Yeah. Compared to the previous one. Mm, I, will, I will say this she's been blessed uh -huh. I, well, I will say this I've been blessed as a parent to have a kid that people like uh -huh. um, so she's always had teachers like we still keep in contact with all like almost all of her teachers starting from uh, kindergarten like um, so she's she's a, she's a sweet girl that's why a lot of people like her but I've been blessed like to have for her to have teachers that I keep in contact with, but also too, I think it's important that we show our teachers appreciation because they already underappreciated. Um, they don't get the salaries they deserve. Uh -huh. um, they deal, like I tell her all the time, you know, keep in mind as a kid, it's a lot of you guys, but it's only one teacher that has to yeah. deal with all of your personalities. Yeah. So if one person acts out or one person acts up, then that's or in it, you dealing with different people it's a disturbance yeah so i try to teach her to be a lot more understanding to where what teachers are going through because they're people too uh-huh so once we got that understanding you know it's been good she understands it a lot more um and but she's she's had some good teachers okay she's had some really good teachers that's love it's because you've also done a good job that's why she's a good kid thank you yeah <laughs> Right. So we're going the back way, uh -huh. um, because I have um, VIP parking. Okay. So we don't have to go where a lot of these other people are going. So it's it's WNBA, four teams, the Atlanta Dream and the Mercury. I mean, sorry, the Minnesota. Kiki. <laughs> she bad. It's why I'm back. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Thank you. I love how social you are. I love it. <laughs> you I love met, I met her when doing that. She uh -huh. was doing that. <laughs> uh -huh. Taking our tickets. And now she knows you. Yep. I, I used to sing a song every time. I'd be like, Kiki, do, do you, you love, love me? me? I used to cover my ears every time. It would be so loud with it. It's just diabolical. <laughs> Evil. Dang it. It would be so like. Oh, do it for the dream. Is it for Atlanta Dream? I'm circling oh. around. I was trying to see, you know, if it was some part. So what stadium is this? It's over here and it's called Gateway to Arena. Mm -hmm. um, but we parked back here because if we was out there, over there, yeah. we'll still be outside. So okay. we have VIP over here because you see there's not a lot of people back here. Yeah. Uh, um, all these cars? I'm saying it's cars, but like, I'm parked right here. Because I don't want nobody hitting. You seen what happened to my car? But this is VIP, okay? People still, they don't stop people from hitting your car. They don't <laughs> stop people from opening up the door on your car. They don't stop people from doing a lot of shit. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see the Greek outfit. Zeta. Zeta. Phi Beta. Phi Beta. Oh, hold on. Sorry.
favorite aspects of this match is that it's not just a game it's a full-fledged performance the energy extends just beyond the action on the court this is because we're having lots of captivating performances during breaks that keep the crowd entertained there's never a dull moment and the atmosphere stays electric from start to finish i hope you are enjoying and if you are enjoying so far Hit the like button and just subscribe in case you're not subscribed. Let's continue.
Absolutely loving the experience here so far and being in the VIP section of course comes with added packs like unlimited food We got drinks all these makes this overall experience even more special The hospitality from these amazing african-americans is on another level They are truly spoiling me. <laughs> I love it <laughs> A huge thank you to Ashley for making this unforgettable experience possible. Love you. So because I have a VIP access, so I, I have access to food, different food. Here we go. So, if you wanna eat anything, chill, hang out with people. This is the spot to be. After a quick food and drinks break, it's time to head back to the basketball court and we were treated to yet another incredible performance, keeping the energy and excitement alive. <laughs>
thank you so much for watching this episode let me know what you think in the comment section below i hope you truly enjoyed it and you learned something new let me know what more would you love to see from atlanta georgia leave a comment and don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe in case you are not subscribed i'll see you on the next episode bye, -bye.